In this video, we provide the solution to question number seven for practice exam number one for math 1030, in which case, given the graph we see right here, we need to find the shortest path between vertices A and G. So let's think about that for a second. We have A right here, we have G right here. Um, one characteristic of this graph that seems very useful and helpful is there is a bridge between C and I right here. In order to go from A to G, I have to cross that bridge. That kind of dramatically simplifies the problem. Like, what's the shortest path from G over to I right here? Well, you can get there in two spots. Uh, you can get there in three, that's slower, three, um, anything else would be slower there. So if you to get from G to I, you have to go through H, this is going to give you two. So if we do some tallies so far, we have three edges in consideration. Now, how are we going to get from C to A? Um, we could take two. We could take two. If you go through E, that's going to slow you down to th at three. And so two is going to be the fastest path. I'll choose this one right here. So the, the shortest path, which there was more than one, but the shortest path between A and G was length five. So ans the correct answer would be C. Uh, we kind of guessed and checked our way through this one, which is perfectly fantastic for an, a multiple choice question. Um, but if you did struggle, you could try to implement Dijkstra's algorithm, which will always give you the correct answer to these type of problems.